So you finally graduated architecture school after five years, four years in some cases, or three years if you're a master's student. First of all, congratulations. Secondly, what's next? If you're a recent grad from an architecture program, please stay tuned and watch this video because this is very important, especially if you want to pursue your license. I know um, a lot of you um, actually messaged me on Instagram asking how to do this or just do a video covering it. So recently I actually got my transcript verified by NCARB and um, I just want to quickly go over that whole process, how to request a transcript because um, it's better to do this sooner rather than later because um, part of the requirement for a New York license for architecture is three years after college and you cannot get this until you have a verified uh, transcript showing that you have graduated. So uh, mine is already verified but I'm going to just walk you through the process. First things first that you want to do actually is go on Google, type in NCARB transcript request form, right? I spelled that wrong. Um, and click on the first link that you see, right? So the first link that you see will take you to this PDF and you're going to fill out this PDF with your NCARB number, social security, everything you can just fill this out online because basically what you're going to do with this form, you're going to have to send it with your transcript, right? And when you send it with your transcript, this is going to be how NCARB will know that, you're, that you made this uh, request basically. So now, Fill this out, um, keep it on the side, and then go on Google, open another tab, type in City College request trans uh, transcript request form. Myself personally, I graduated from the architectural school at City College. You or everyone else who's watching may have went to a different school, but don't worry, the process is still similar. All you really need to do is access your school portal and there should be an area where you can request the transcript form. And the process from there should be very similar. Just in case you don't know how to get your transcript paired with the NCARB request form and have it sent to NCARB. So you can continue following along. And basically it's going to have like an instructional guide on how to do it. This is just in case, you know, this video is a little bit unclear on how it's done and you want more information, you click order online, right? And then down here is going to tell you the process, right? So you have to go to your CUNY first account, right? And click request official transcript, right? Click request official transcript. So I actually have my CUNY first uh, account opened on this tab already. So I'm just going to jump over to the next step. So take a moment, pause this, go on, log in on your CUNY first account, um, student center, you know, click on that. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see this request official transcript tab, right? So when you do that, all right, one second, by doing that, it will take you to this page, right? Once you click that, you see this page and um, you just have to scroll down, go to City College, City College of New York right here. And once you have that, it's just going to bring you to this page and you can always get more information if you need so, right? But what you want to do is order a hard copy of your transcript. I know there's this whole issue with COVID and everyone's thinking, okay, maybe I should just do a PDF. But if you go to the official NCARB website, they instruct you to send a hard copy transcript. I did so and it worked out just fine for me. So, I mean, if you still want to do a PDF, you can, but... That's what I, I did and it worked for me. So I click hard copy transcript, right? And then first things first, you're just gonna have to start filling out this information, right? You put your ID, the time you attended, your date of birth, right? All that good information, right? You put all those things, your cell phone number and you have to click next, right? So I'm going to fill this out and I'm gonna skip forward in the video. Um, and then you'll see the next few steps in regards to what the next thing to do is after you fill out your credentials. So after you've pulled up all your credentials, you're going to see this page, right? It's basically $7 per copy of your official transcript. What you want to do is, well, initially, if you were to do this a little bit before, what I did was that I clicked this, hold until degrees have posted, but the degrees have already been posted, so you can just click send now, right? But otherwise, you would click wait until degrees is posted, right? And then you want to put your primary reasons as for sending this to be for state licensure. 
you want to click that. So next part. So let's see. It's basically telling us who's your recipient, right? So the thing is, NCARB is actually a recipient you can look up, right? You should be able to search it up. Let's do that right now together. Click um, application service here, right? If we go down to N, if you go down to N, you'll see this National Architectural Accreditation Board right here for transcript processing. Click that. You go on next. So it has the address, all the information is filled out. If anything, if you can't find this for some reason, you can always um, put it in manually. If you go back to the tab with the transcript form, it has the address. Let me see, it should be here. Yeah, the address is right here, if you don't see it. So then we could go back here. And when you say, are you providing an attachment, you must hit yes. Because the attachment that we're adding is, look, this form. This form needs to accompany your official transcript, right? Because this form is going to tell who it is, right? So they can attach this form, the transcript, to your NCARB record. Otherwise, it could be like, for example, if I just sent my transcript, there could be so many people with my first and last name. How do they know it's me, you know? So you have to send the uh, uh, NCARB transcript form. And you're going to click yes, right? And basically, you won't be able to attach this until you hit send and you put your payment information. I'm just letting you know now because at first I was confused. But once you come to this point, you won't be able to do anything until you hit send. And then there will be an option for you to attach it. Right. So you have to hit confirm that this re recipient is correct. Right. And you can select how many transcript you want. You only need one transcript. So we're going to do this, right? And then it's an extra 250 because you have to pick one or the other. Just keep going forward, right? Continue. You have your address and all that. And that's basically the total payment, right? And then you go to payment, right? And then you hit agree to terms and then you put your payment information, all that stuff. And I'm going to skip forward. I'm going to show you the email you get once you actually hit send. So this is the email that you're going to get. So you should get this email, a confirmation email of your order, right? This is the one I did uh, back in June. And once you get this email, you want to click this view order status because here you will be able to actually attach your um, attach your uh, NCARB form to have sent have it sent along. So basically, when you open this, you're not going to see it in my screen because I already did it. Um, there's going to be an option for you to actually attach the end card form to actually have it sent with your transcript. And all you have to do is upload the attachment, right? Once you fill out this form, upload it and hit send. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So let me know if you have any questions, um, if it works for you, let me know.